Hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. And in this video, we are talking about the Platinum card. Oh, actually, <laughs> wrong Platinum. No, what we're talking about is the Amex Platinum, the king of luxury credit cards. It is a card that makes Karens feel important. I have America's Express as Platinum. Platinum, thank you. Cool. It's a Platinum. It provides a canvas for the world's finest artists. For some reason, it now features a backwards Capital One logo and it makes a great spoon for ice cream. But this card is kind of unique in that when you get it, there's actually a lot to do. There's a lot of things that need to be activated in order for you to reap those rewards back in the form of credits, hotel gold status, lounge access. It's actually quite a bit of work. It's the ultimate first world problem. Oh, I am so tired from activating all my free stuff on my luxury credit card. So in this video, I'm going to give you 13 things that you must do when you get the Amex Platinum. Now, the first 10 things are things that I think everyone should do that you can basically earn back a lot of the money, actually more money than you paid in the annual fee, which is $695. So it is a sizable investment. But like I said, the first 10 things will not cost you any money. The average person will get huge benefit out of them. And then I'm gonna give you three more things that will be appropriate for some people, um, but won't save every single person money. All right, let's get started. Number one, activate Walmart Plus membership. Now this was a new benefit brought in this year. It's a monthly credit for Walmart Plus membership fees. Walmart Plus, it's basically like Amazon Prime, but for Walmart, it gives you free delivery on Walmart stuff, so you never have to set foot in a Walmart again. And if you were to pay for this, it would cost you $14 or so per month, depending on the tax in whatever state you're in. The biggest benefits of Walmart Plus are free delivery on regular Walmart items, as well as groceries, as long as your grocery order is over $35, and a 10 cent per gallon discount on gas at Exxon, Mobile, Walmart, and Murphy's gas stations, as well as member fuel prices at Sam's Club. Now, when you get gas, you pay through the Walmart Plus app on your smartphone by scanning a QR code on the gas pump. And when you pay for delivery, you're gonna pay through the app too. And a little pro tip is that although you have to use the Amex Platinum card to pay the membership fee, the monthly fee, right, to get that credit back refunded to you, you actually don't need to use the Amex Platinum as your payment method when paying for things within the app. So you can use a card that actually gets you bonus points for shopping at Walmart. Like for example, quarter four of 2022, that's now, uh, the Chase Freedom Flex is offering 5% back at Walmart, okay? It's a great card. I'll put a link to it somewhere below in the description if you're interested in checking it out. So anyway, guys, activate your Walmart Plus membership through the benefits page on your Amex account. And most things that I'm gonna be mentioning in this video will be accessible through that benefits page. And using the Walmart Plus membership saves us roughly $155 a year on average. So that brings the effective annual fee down from $6.95 all the way down to $5.40. Number two, enroll in the digital entertainment credit. So Amex now provides a digital entertainment credit of $240 per year, which is $20 per month. It is also activated through your benefits page. And then once activated, you need to be sure that you have set your Amex Platinum as your payment method in one of the several providers that this can be used for. And they are Peacock, Audible, SiriusXM, The New York Times, and Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN, or the Disney Bundle, which is all three of them combined in one package. So for me, I use it for SiriusXM, which I've subscribed for, for about five years now. I like it for all the country stations and also uh, this business news like Fox different. Business which I listen to in the car in the morning so for me it's something I would genuinely be paying for anyway so it really is saving me money. It gets us $240 worth of savings per year bringing our effective annual fee down to $300. And before we move on to our next item guys if you are looking for a convenient way to keep information about all your credit cards in one place I recommend the app Max Rewards. It pools data from all your cards, even if they're from different issuers, in one easy to use dashboard. You can see transactions, balances, points and rewards balances, and the app will tell you which card to use where for the maximum rate of rewards. Also, if you have the Amex Platinum or any other Amex card for that matter, Max Rewards Gold, that's the premium version, will even activate Amex offers for you and add them to your card so you never miss a deal. And you can get a free month of that with my link below, or you can just download it and check out the free features of which there are many. Number three, sign up for Hilton and Marriott Gold. Now there are two hotel gold statuses that you can get with your Amex Platinum card. 
Hilton Gold and Marriott Gold. Now, personally, I would say that Hilton Gold is actually a bit more valuable than Marriott Gold since Hilton Gold is actually their second highest status in their loyalty program, whereas Marriott Gold is their second lowest. With Hilton Gold, you always get free breakfast, you get VIP check-in lines, and you may get a room upgrade, sometimes even to a suite. With Marriott Gold, you get some of that, but there's no free breakfast, and in my experience, I've never been upgraded to a suite. But anyway, to activate these, you go to the benefits page and you click enroll on each. You'll notice that my Hilton Gold says enrollment failed or rejected or something like that. That's because I already have it from the Hilton Honors Surpass card. Now these statuses are definitely valuable and some blogs do assign a dollar amount to them, but personally, I don't really know how much they're worth, so I'm not gonna give you any amount that offsets the annual fee. I'm only gonna do that for credits where you get a solid dollar amount that is undisputable. Anyway, moving on. Number four, sign up for Rakuten. Now this one might throw you off because it's not actually a benefit from American Express, but Rakuten is a shopping portal where you can earn extra cash back or Amex membership rewards points if you have an eligible Amex card on shopping that you were gonna do at websites that you were probably gonna visit anyway. Stores like Walmart or Macy's. And guess what? Since you now have the Amex Platinum, you now have an eligible Amex card that you can link to your Rakuten account. It's particularly good for Black Friday because you'll have stores paying up to 15 Amex points per dollar on your spending there in addition to the Black Friday discounts that they're already giving. Now I have another video where I show you exactly how to link your Amex card to Rakuten so you can earn MR points instead of cashback. I'll put that on the end card of this video for those that are interested. And I'll put my link for Rakuten below as well if you want to sign up. I think through my link you get $30 slash 3,000 MR points after you make your first purchase. So it's pretty cool. Number five, sign up for Clear Global Entry or TSA Pre. Now that was kind of a mouthful, but I'm putting them all together because they're essentially the same kind of thing. Now the Amex Platinum used to offer just a $100 credit every four years for either Global Entry or TSA Pre. This is basically the same benefit that you see on countless credit cards in the US credit card market. Now. Out of these two, I would go for Global Entry, especially if you're gonna travel internationally because Global Entry gives you uh, special priority lines at Passport Control, as well as TSA Pre. TSA Pre is where you get a special line when you're going through security uh, before boarding your flight. But if you're in a rush, especially if you're only traveling domestically, TSA Pre might be better since people say that there are actually quicker wait times when you're applying for TSA Pre versus Global Entry. For both of them though, you do actually have to turn up at an airport, have an interview and be fingerprinted uh, in order to apply. When I went to did my global entry interview, it was very easy. The guy just chatted with me about the Star Wars movies and how he wanted a standalone Yoda movie and it was done. Simple as that. I do have another video where I tell that story on my channel. So if you're interested in hearing about that, I'll put it on the end card of this one too. But then more recently, Amex added a clear credit for $189, which covers the annual membership fee. Clear is a service that uses a scan of your eye and your fingerprints to give you priority lines to access some airports and sports venues. And like we said, that $189 credit pays for the annual membership. Now in working out the effective annual fee, I'm gonna take the clear membership into account, but not the global entry because you only get the global entry credit once every four years. So that $189 credit takes our effective annual fee down to $111. Number six, choose your airline for the airline credit. So the Amex Platinum gives you a $200 annual credit for incidental fees on one airline of your choice. Basically this covers almost any other charge except for purchasing tickets. Although on some airlines buying very cheap flights under $100 may trigger it, but in this video, we'll just talk about the things that Amex wants you to use it for. You should have no problem getting reimbursed for checked bag fees, onboard food, seat assignment fees, as long as they're separate from your booking uh, or airport lounge access. So you can go ahead and choose your airline on the benefits page of your Amex account. Now I chose American Airlines, but actually for me, this benefit proved quite hard to use during the pandemic. So since I'm One World Ruby, I already get uh, free check bags on US domestic flights. I get free seat selection on American Airlines. And during that time, during the pandemic, American Airlines was not serving any food uh, on any of its flights, right, domestically. So you go on a six hour flight to Los Cabos, 
There was no food, not even food for purchase. It was crazy, I was starving. So in the end, I used the credit to buy Admiral's Club Lounge day passes for me and my family. Are you happy you finally found a way to spend your American Express uh, airline incidental fee credit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't sound that happy. <laughs> Which I guess did get me value out of it since there weren't any priority pass or Centurion lounges in that airport terminal and I would have otherwise just ended up spending money on food in the terminal. Just one thing to remember with this, this credit is not valid usually for in-flight Wi-Fi since it's typically charged by a different company go-go or boing boing or whatever. And another pro tip is that there's actually a bar that fills up on your benefits page that shows you how much of your airline credit you've used. And we will deduct this credit from the annual fee since under normal circumstances, there is quite a lot of value that you can get out of it. And so that brings us to positive $89. Number seven, add your platinum card to the Uber app. Ah, now Uber is one of those conveniences that we really can't live without. Whether you like taking rides with Uber and chatting with your driver, hearing how he studied gender studies at NYU and is now working on his career as a SoundCloud rapper, or perhaps you're more of an Uber Eats kind of person, you enjoy overpaying for the basic necessities of life. Well, the Amex Platinum Card has you covered with their $200 Uber credit. So add your Platinum Card as a payment method in your Uber app and you will get $15 per month in Uber credits and $20 in December. Merry Christmas. Personally, every time the beginning of the month comes around, I order Uber Eats. And deducting this from the annual fee brings us to positive $289. Number eight, enroll in the SAX credit. Amex brought in the SAX credit a few years ago, and this is a $100 credit that's split into two $50 parts. So you get $50 from January until June, and then you get another $50 to use from July until the end of the year. And if you don't use it, once it's gone, it's gone. And personally, I like to use it to buy $65 socks. Uh, this is a couple of pairs of $30 socks that I just bought using the Saks credit. I mean, look, isn't that beautiful? Like, you couldn't go wrong with that. Anyway, typically, we use the Saks credit to buy things we normally wouldn't buy, but it does have some uses. It can be pretty useful at Christmas time when you buy gifts for people and they're like, oh, you went to Saks for me. Wow, because they know it's a kind of overpriced expensive store and it's kind of a big deal and you're like, <laughs> I only went there because I was getting it for free. Don't tell anyone, don't tell your grandma. But anyway, I normally find a use for it, so I will include it in offsetting the annual fee and with that $100 credit, it now brings us to positive $389. That is how much Amex is paying you per year to have this car. Number nine, sign up for Hertz Avis National Car Rental. Now, Amex actually gives you status with three car rental companies, but for some reason, they don't list this anymore on their benefits page. What you can do is ask a rep through the online chat to send you the page for car rental status, and they should be able to send you this, which links you to enroll in Avis, Hertz, or National. Personally, I do National. That's because I can book a midsize and then automatically get upgraded to a full size great for traveling with kids. I like how you can skip the counter and basically choose any car you want in the executive area. And sometimes I've even been upgraded to more luxury brands such as Audi and Cadillac. Number 10, enroll in Priority Pass. The Amex Platinum really is the mother of all credit cards when it comes to lounge access, giving you access to the Centurion Lounge, the Plaza Premium Lounge, just by flashing the card. So you may forget that it actually gives you Priority Pass 2. And for those that don't know, Priority Pass Select is the most common airport lounge program available on US credit cards. It gives you access to over 1,400 lounges around the world. And that can be really handy if there's no Centurion or Plaza Premium Lounge at an airport that you are visiting. Now you need to enroll through the benefits page. And I can't remember whether Amex actually sends you a physical card or not, but you don't even really need the physical card these days. Since you can use the membership number that Amex gives you after you enroll to create an account on the Priority Pass app and then you can download a digital card to your Apple wallet or Google wallet or whatever you got and use that to get into the lounge. All right guys so those are 10 things that you must do when you get the Amex Platinum and those 10 things will save the average person a lot of money and actually turn the annual fee from you paying Amex money to Amex paying you money. I'm now going to give you three extra bonus things that not necessarily everyone will get value out of, 
but some people might, so do stick around. And before we get into those as well, if you're thinking about getting the Amex Platinum, do check out my mini review of it and reviews of other cards that I often talk about on this show in my mini credit card guide below. If you use our links, it does really help out our show, so we thank you very much if you do. Number 11, find an Equinox Club. Now the Amex Platinum gives you a $300 annual credit for Equinox Gyms, which is split into $25 per month. Now I realize not everyone will be interested in this because it is such an expensive gym and the credit doesn't cover the whole membership. Actually, the credit just covers one month, all right? So you're basically getting a year of Equinox membership at a less than a 10% discount. But for those that are interested or those who are already members of Equinox, great benefit. But personally, I'm just gonna stick to Planet Fitness. And I'm not gonna deduct any of those credits from the annual fee since I don't think they're that realistic for the average person. Number 12, book a stay at an FHR property. Now the Amex Platinum gives you a $200 credit for the fine hotels and resorts collection, FHR, or the hotel collection. And with the hotel collection, by the way, you gotta stay two consecutive nights to receive the credit or any benefits. Now I really like this benefit, and personally I've used it in Vegas with great effect, also at the Conrad in DC for an upgrade to a corner room with a king bed, which was really, really cool. But the fine hotels and resorts collection is a benefit for higher spenders since the hotels in FHR and even the hotel collection, mostly they cost at least $400 a night, if not 800, even up to over $1,000 per night. So if you're more, you know, in the 150 to 250 a night range, you're not really gonna find the fine hotels and resorts collection that useful. Uh, so you may end up going on a trip and spending way more than you'd usually spend even if you get the $200 credit. The exception to that is Vegas because normally the hotels are really cheap there, like two to $300. So you can normally end up getting a free night in Vegas. All right, now to our last thing that you should probably think about doing once you get the Amex Platinum. Number 13, add your Platinum as payment card on your phone bill. Yep, not too long ago, American Express brought in a new benefit on the Platinum, I think it was last year, $800 worth of cell phone insurance with a $50 deductible. And personally, I do use this insurance from the Amex Platinum for my cell phone, but you just gotta remember that you do have to pay your cell phone bill with your Amex Platinum card. But I say you may or may not want to use this because it depends. There's a lot of other cards that offer cell phone insurance and some other cards that may even give you a higher points multiplier on your phone bill spending. So with this one, you gotta look at your credit card setup to see whether it's worth it for you to use your Amex Platinum to pay your phone bill. All right guys, that is the video for today. I hope you don't get too tired activating all your free stuff on your luxury top tier credit card. Please subscribe if you're new guys, get a free month of max rewards with my link below, $30 or 3000 Amex points from Rakuten when you sign up and make your first purchase and also check out my mini review of the Amex Platinum in my credit card guide below. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.